Hey, hey guys, we have another assessment. Got a challenge from Coderpite. Array rotation, uh, difficult, hard. This challenge will require a knowledge of arrays. So, usual stuff, but looks like it because it's hard, most probably we'll have more stuff to deal with. So, yeah, let's dive in. We, uh, array rotation. Uh, we have function array rotation. Take array parameter being passed, which will be array of non-negative integers uh, and uh, circulately uh, rotate array starting from n's element where n is equal to the first integer of array. For example, if array is 2, 3, 4, 2, then your program should rotate array starting from second position because first element of array is 2. Okay. And final array, uh, uh, therefore, will be 4, 1, 3, 4, 3. Uh, not quite clear, but yeah, let's go. And your program should return new array a string. So, uh, for example, your program should return, okay, it's kind of not uh, array with commas, but normal, kind of single. Uh, a string out there with numbers. The first uh, element in the rate uh, will always be integer greater than or equal or equal to zero, less than a, s a size of uh, array. So again, we have kind of valid input, so we don't need to worry about this. So let's go through examples here uh, as we did. Uh, so we will re rotate, so we said like, okay, here is 3, uh, we will need to start off 6, okay, 6, 3, 2, 1, okay, we got 4, element is 1 here, and after that we will go with 2, 4, 3, 4, 3. Right, just again, the rotation. Oh, you might think I would describe it as a kind of shifting. So, again, we got 4 here. Let's kind of go one more time. We should ignore this. It should be the fourth position. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we start 1, 2. And after that, we'll continue with the rest here. Okay, it's kind of rotating. Uh, uh, circularly uh, again just shifting on the mount this and we will repurpose I guess here the first one you may think of it's kind of the only shift number but that it also will be shifting itself uh, position so there's I would say there is right away few implementation in my head that how you can do this or you will updating this array or we will introduce new array Again, so but it will use more memory for doing that. So yeah, let's let's come up with some documentation and talk about. It. Yeah, interesting. So there's so many. I will go with most probably shortest, uh, but still break it down. So we have result. So we will slice. Uh, as, uh, uh, so we'll slice. Uh, the first function extra we will extract the first numbers of element to rotate, which will be the first element, uh, uh, element uh, using array zero. Then re result uh, uh, variable is assigned with a sub array of array uh, uh, of index zero, not inclusive, using a slice. So we good here. So we basically got everything except our element, let's say six in this case. Uh, the next one we will concatenate uh, uh, the array, but again we need that uh, uh, make sure that we have everything back on track. The function will uh, rotate uh, elements and rotate using concat in this case method. And after that, we will join uh, them uh, to make sure that we got single string. So let's run the code. We could get, but we should be good with submission. But let's get some other implementation. Just make sure that we are not specific to uh, to this short event. All right, this is kind of longer with more commands, but again, 
Uh, we store integer value of first element of the array as a number of rotations. So we got this and we got this n value. So again, just break it down to make it clear. We'll uh, uh, initialize the empty uh, array to store the result of rotation. So we got this and loops through array starting from nth element. So as you can see, we got this and we will go the length of this. So and push, uh, push all element uh, to result uh, array. So again, in this case, we introduce a new array as I mentioned at the beginning. So we'll kind of double in memory from original to uh, updated array. If there are still elements in the original array that haven't been pushed uh, to original uh, array, so we will uh, yet. So we'll see like, hey, if n more than zero, uh, which is usually will be the case, we'll loop through arrays from the beginning up to an element. So again, as we got the partially here loop from n, let's say we have 10, let's say five from to 10, so from five to 10, and from zero to five, oh, oh again, correction to, uh, to indexes. Uh, push element to array, so again, we keep pushing, and after that is usually we will join this to make sure that we will get a single uh, array rises in, uh, so sorry, a single string rises in just array comma separated and such. So yeah, let's run the code, I guess we're good. Let's run, we, we good here. I kind of like it better, it more break it down, but again, you have options uh, out there. I will go with submission for this one. Let's, let's go. Usual acceleration here. All right, completed, submitting, and we got it. So uh, all test cases completed. I would say we took more time as we needed, I guess from that matter but again so we got our array rotation it's usually code will be source code with commands will be in the description below let me know guys if you'd like to see other challenges uh, and assessment maybe in other languages and such could be outside of coderbyte so again thank you for watching please subscribe and like if you like and see you in the next one see ya bye bye